Congratulations. Guys. Ah, thank you. It was great. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Great. Yes, um, I'm Rebecca Prince, and I'm doing the Focus Generics. And I'll be ready. Um, okay, well, first start off by telling me what is exactly the story of the box trolls? Uh, well, family film. Yeah. Yeah, family comedy um, mm -hmm. about a little boy who's been raised underground by uh, these creatures called box trolls. And he spent his whole life growing up underground, and it's a story of how he comes above ground to find out who he is and where he fits in the world. And box trolls are mischievous, yeah, but shy but creatures. Very timid, yeah. timid creatures, yeah. They live beneath the streets of Cheesebridge, and they're called box trolls because they wear cardboard boxes the same way turtles wear their shells. Mm -hmm. They're very sweet. They come off as very <laughs> sweet in the film. I love them. Uh, the stop motion animation was unbelievable. Tell me a little bit about the most fun part of you know directing a film like this, and also some of the the bigger challenges. I think the funnest part for us as directors is the fact that uh, every day yeah. a new shot would get finished. I mean, other forms of animation, t hand drawn two D or CG. The animation goes through a lot of layers and a lot of levels and it takes a long time to see a finished shot. But with stop motion, I mean, yeah. every day, every week, brand new finished shots would show up in front of us and it was just amazing to watch the movie come together like that. Yeah. Nuggets of beautiful things. And the hard part was, before you get to see the finished shot <laughs> yeah. coming up, all this effort that you put into preparing a sequence to be launched comes down to one meeting that you have with the animator before he goes out onto the set, which is taking months to build, and the puppets, which is taking months and months to build, and the faces, which have had to be printed off this 3D rapid prototype. You launch him, and then he animates it, and it's like a performance. He doesn't have a lot of time to, to do um, blocks or rehearsals and stuff. He moves that puppet around that set, and that's what you get. And that, after all that preparation, <laughs> it comes down to just that one moment where you launch that guy, and then two days, three days, or maybe a week later, the shot is done. You don't always get exactly what you wanted. Every day's a surprise. Yeah, I saw some of the numbers you guys had. <laughs> yeah, crazy, crazy amounts of sets and, yeah. you know, even mm. character facial expressions. It's yeah. unbelievable. How, how impressive was it for you to sort of see your team bring the final product to life? Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's... it's yeah, it feels like the, t the team dragged us across the finish line. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, you know, I think directing is 90% is casting. Yeah. And, and we were really fortunate that at Leica, this is the third film now that this incredible band of people have stuck together to yeah. make, and we benefited so much from the experience of all of them. I mean, they, they, we, we had to get out of their way a lot of the time. Yeah, you know, if, if the definition of craftsmanship is doing a good job for its own sake, mm -hmm. that's the, the definition of stop motion, because so many of these people have to get launched on something, and then we're on to something else, and it's really up to them how far they're gonna take it to execute it, and I think you can look at this, every cobblestone, every chair, every box troll, bo you know, the third box troll from the left is boxes <laughs> yeah. as lovingly rendered as the hero box trolls. And that, that happens all the way through. And you can't make people do that unless they're really in love with what they're doing. And with like a stop motion film like this, do you think 3D sort of adds to it or, you know? So much, yeah. I, uh, I worked as a storyboard artist on mm -hmm. Coraline years ago. And when they announced that the film was going to be shot in 3D, I thought, ah. Oh, kind of a gimmick, we're gonna be on the bandwagon with everyone else. And then when the first shots started showing up in the, in the viewing theater, it was like, whoa, no, actually, for this medium, stop motion, 3D truly enhances the experience. It really brought me back to those days as a kid with the Viewmaster reel, and you'd look through mm -hmm. and you could feel those dioramas that they built in there. Something about 3D, it just, elevates that experience it really immerses you in the movie and we shoot the film in 3d it's not a it's not a post-production type right. thing it's planned and, and thought of in 3d right from the get-go and I think you really feel that difference 